Um, is your audio working? On your mine. Ones? Can you hear me? Yes. Is your card on? Yeah. What? No, it's actually going. Um, so when we go over to the intro music, we'll just do that thing. What are you saying, Stevie? Schools make the frogs gay. No. And that's what I was saying. Yeah. But I don't think that's true. I don't think the education system is that bad. <laughs> That, yeah, what was that weird thing to turn in the frogs gay with the water or something? Oh, that was like an Alex Jones thing. Okay, right. I don't know. He was of, I, it's probably not even the weirdest thing he said, but it's definitely up there. Like. That, uh, I, yeah. There's probably more, yeah. Do you want a strawberry? <laughs> 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 or, do you, or do you want to go over to your intro music? Intro music. Intro music. <laughs> Yeah, we're back in the room. Come well, on, hey. Stevie. I can't clap my own. I'll just leave you clapping your own. That's so rude. I'm perfect. Like, you know, like every good podcast starts with like making someone uncomfortable. Like, for no reason. Do you feel uncomfortable? Like? <laughs> 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 oh, shit. I thought I wanted to. I, you can actually see I'm not wearing shit. I didn't think you could see my legs. The one time oh, we did a different shot and yeah, that just looks stupid. That I'm wearing a jacket. Because <laughs> no. I was going to say I, I'm, I'm wearing this jacket to see how much I can sweat. Because obviously it's not time for a jacket. It's very warm out and humid. But I want to... Yeah. This jacket, I'm already sweating. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want to see if I can do a podcast sweating. Um, but you know, it just looks really weird. That, um, so people are into feet. No, and I'm creeped out now that there's someone... Well, I'm going to try and hide them. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Ah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, not sweating, so... You were, you were s- not sweating. Yeah. Okay, what what makes you do you sweat do you sweat easier? Well, yeah, but like, <laughs> no, but like, do I sweat? No, but like, <laughs> like, some people don't sweat easy. Like, I I don't sweat easy unless it's roast, like roasting, and I am um doing chores or. Tasks. Oh no, like I I would I would sweat. What? I sweat terribly. Bro. You sweat terribly. On purpose. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely I'm definitely the same. Like I'm always too warm. Like really? Yeah. Like I remember. I remember, I like, guess, yeah, fucking staying at one of the lads' houses or something, like, and there's, like, a few of us just, like, sleeping on the floor, and mm. one of the lads was, like, sleeping, like, kind of a foot away from me. Yeah. And, like, in the middle of the night, he just had to get up and sleep somewhere else, because he said, even being, like, a foot near me, he said, the heat coming off me was intense. That's mad. <laughs> That's mad. Yeah, I, I get, I fucking, I do be, ro- like, yeah, like, bros and, like, that as well. Ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually... No, we are not. We don't support that here in this show. Um, absolutely not. But this is vitamin C stuff. Do you ever have them? You see them? Uh, I. Yeah, <laughs> that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I've had like vitamin C like tablets, but I would not have these ones. It, because oh. I cannot. The whole fucking dissolving shit in water, I can't. Pass do it that. back. I want I've never actually tried this, but. <laughs> <laughs> Been back in a few weeks. We we, we are back with a <laughs> wonderful episode. But I can't oh, do the whole. Man. I can't do the whole fizzy. Wait, will you try something with me? What? We, we this is mental. Like we just put one in our mouth and see what I, happens. I actually did that really? accidentally before. Is uh, what happens? Because I, I wanted to. T- I like I was sick and I needed. I was like, okay, vitamin C is meant to be good for you. But I thought they were just like a chewable tablet, and I put it in my mouth and it just started. <laughs> oh, the- what the fuck is going on? <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like foaming at the mouth. <laughs> I can't do that. That's horrible. Man. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> I can't believe you did that on purpose. Like, I did that accidentally once. Like, I, like when that happened, like no, no one saw, no one saw me do it. And I couldn't tell Megan about it for like a week or two because I was just like, I was way too embarrassed about it. Well, I, I, I feel like, I fucking feel real. I don't know if you should do that. I feel like that's straight to the blood system or something. <laughs> I feel wired after that. I'm not even messing with you. That's weird. 
Um, yeah, I don't recommend that at all. Fuck me. Jesus, don't try that at home. Um, but before we started, <laughs> um, you were saying something about the hat man that sounded interesting. Oh, yeah. We said we'd save it for this. Yeah, the hat man is like this weird thing of like, right, loads of people have had sleep paralysis, right? Yeah. And there's different kinds of sleep paralysis. But one of the types of sleep paralysis a lot of people have is, I think they refer to it as like the intruder, where basically you feel like there's someone in the room. Yeah. Now, uh, loads of different people have said that they refer to it as the hat man because, like, when they see the person in the room, it's a guy in a trench coat wearing a hat. Okay. And I thought that was really strange because, like, I'm not a supernatural person. I don't believe in anything, really. Like, Yeah. And, yeah, anytime I've had sleep paralysis, it has been the hat man. You've said that, like... Yeah, the hat man. Like, that's why, that's why I remember it because I saw someone say it online and I was like, that's really odd. That's mad. And like people were like describing it and it was just, yeah. So for this, I was only literally walking around the town at one o'clock like this is what you do and you don't drink anymore. You walk around to- town talking to random people about um, sleep paralysis at one o'clock in the morning. So I was doing that last night and um, I was talking about people who b- who have it because I have it the whole time. Mm. Like I've become, I, I actually had to like enjoy it to have it so much. I've had seen shadows, seen figures, not seen figures. I woke up in a in a weird uh, sort of Christopher Nolan style loophole of watching different episodes of Peaky Blinders and I couldn't stop and all this weird and it wasn't even I never even watched the show like just weird random so like the level of madness in the sleep palace I'm well used to but I was wondering last night for people who don't believe in anything paranormal like what well, yeah what what and you have sleep paralysis and you don't yeah. believe in yeah, like a lot, you know, a spiritual stuff or, go, you know, all that stuff or afterlife or anything like that. So, like, what what do you think it is that you're experiencing when you have, like, the hat man or shadowy type of... See, one of the things that, um, like, what well, I think the reason why everyone sees, like, the hat man is, like, in general, like, you kind of expect to see faces and people. It's a thing we, yeah. we... It's a pattern we look for. So, like, you know, when you're, like, if it's dark in a room and you look at a blanket, you'll see a face and then you turn the light on and there's no face. Or you see it in a car and shit like that. Yeah. So what I think is, it's the fact that like, like the general shape of a human is essentially just like a tall kind of blob. Yeah. So the reason why the hat man is always wearing a trench coat and a hat is because if the blob isn't perfectly shaped, the trench coat covers for that. Yeah. And then if the head isn't perfectly shaped, oh, it's just a hat. So it doesn't yeah. have to be the exact proportions of a human because it's been covered by those clothes. And that, that's just what I think. Anyway, but. No, I actually understand that because I now I just had her. I wasn't even sleep paralysis. I remember he freaked out when I was younger that there was actually, yeah, a man in the trench coat and a hat. I literally just had that memory while you were saying that, that like he was just at the door. But like, obviously it was like a coat and a hat on a door. Mm. Like, and then, but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it is like, it's more, that was more to do of like, that's the shape you've seen and it's easier to make that out. It's a not, it's, it's a less obscure um, shape. So. Yeah. And it's like, it's still obscure enough that like, it doesn't have to be perfect. So that's like, right. it's very easy to mistake it for, yeah. But like, to be fair, it could be a supernatural thing. I just don't personally believe that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've had some weird ones. Um, yeah. I don't know. Really weird ones. But what do you want? Right. You, now you can have anything. This is a very, we just, we just, we just had a very like, we were talking very dark stuff there. To be honest, which was very dark and mm. creepy and eerie, even. So we're gonna we're gonna lighten up the show now. What would you? What do you want to get? Like, if you could have anything written on your tombstone, what would it be? <laughs> oh, I used to have a really good answer for this, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Um, BRB. <laughs> BR- oh. <laughs> BRB GTG. Be right back. Gotta go. Um. Hmm. I, I, I feel just, like I oh. feel like I'd like to have some interactive on my tombstone because that'd be really a weird mix of like oh like Tetris or something, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like okay. a game of Connect Four or something. Like. Oh yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> just like permanently stuck to your tombstone, but like they, it, you could fall out with what like, I know something interactive yeah. because it'd be that weird mix of like people like oh this is really cool, but this is also someone's grave. Yeah, like are, are they like is it okay for people to be sort of profiting off your debt? Like you know, like having. <laughs> so I, didn't say, I, I didn't say people would be charging to, to like. <laughs> oh, sorry. In my head, I just planned out a new business at your grave. Like, I was like, look at this there. I was just planning no, out. No, like, it, like, it's definitely for free. Like, I was oh. like, you're not would like. You, would you mind if <laughs> I charge people to play g- games on your headstone? If the money went toward new equipment or something like 
Yeah, you're going to create like the world's worst theme park, like <laughs> all based around a tombstone one land, like to- tombstone. Yeah, that'd be mad. I think I just get like I don't know what the fuck would I get. Just like uh, just really like a, I don't, I don't. It's not that bad. TBH or, or something like that, or mm. TBH. Uh, I don't know. I write actually no. I write. It's a go go do something else for anyone that comes like. Who like you know move on like <laughs> or just like go do something else. So anyone that comes, they would just read go do something else. like go away. Like why? why would I? I don't know because I'm no. definitely not here. Because I, I I even I don't know even if you do or don't believe in in a, like I do believe to all possibilities. The thing I find hardest is believe that when someone dies that they would like if they could go anywhere that they would like just linger around their grave. Like I feel like that's the last place anyone's gonna mm. going to be like hanging out after when you know. If apparently you die and you could go anywhere, like I'm gonna just chill around this little fucking stone for the eternity, like. So I don't know. I would tell people go away because I'm not here. I know for sure I'm not gonna be there. Fuck mm. that. I'm not gonna so be. So like, you'd be like, please that. leave a message after the beep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, fucking Adam asked a really uh, important question before about taxi drivers. He was asking. <laughs> he asked. He said, "Is it true?" <laughs> <laughs> is it true <laughs> is it true if you pay a ta- if you're in a taxi and the taxi drives backwards <laughs> he owes you money <laughs> what do you think Dan? <laughs> i don't know because like i, I, mean, I actually know I, I don't know why i said i don't know obviously <laughs> obviously no like, <laughs> like that's just not how it works but like because like <laughs> that's not how it works Cause like even like uh, okay like our, our ta- taxis are done by like distance, isn't it? Uh yeah. So like if there's he a, if a, he there's a baseline fare like a five and then yeah like distance. yeah like if he drove me backwards, he's still tra- making me travel a distance. Do you know? Yeah. It's like if he that's like, like I don't know if he drove me if he man if a taxi driver managed to drive me the whole way to like my destination backwards. Back, it give him double. I feel like I feel like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Is it true that if the taxi driver drives backwards, you oh, no. oh double? Yeah, yeah. No, you don't have to. I was only messing, giving it to you. I didn't even think you'd take that. Golf, a golf stone. <laughs> finally, a, ho- a golfer got finally hole in one in this grave. That's funny. That's smart. <laughs> um. Imagine if when they were like trying to get him into that grave, though, it actually took multiple attempts. Something went wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he did. <laughs> He's like, they just missed it. It's like, oh, yeah, he didn't yeah. even actually get his hole in one. That'd be mad. Like, yeah. They put him in the wrong. Yeah, yeah. Wrong person's thing. Right? Like, oh fuck no, that's the sandpit. <laughs> what do you think about like people doing like I don't know? I see stuff like people will do like voice recordings or like practical jokes for when they die. Like, and I don't know. I seen what Oh there was that one in Dublin that everyone was sharing a few yeah. years, a year or two ago, yeah. I didn't think that one was too bad to be honest. I see some weird stuff in oh yeah, like uh someone was telling me the other day that over in America that the person wanted to be sitting at their grave, like so like they had them like all done up and shit. And but was sit like <laughs> it's so weird. I'm laughing because it's mental. Like, uh, maybe it's not mental. Maybe, it, but I don't even think it's a cultural thing. I think it was just a personal choice. I don't know if it was a practical mm-hmm. joke. I don't know if it was a, a a loving reason. I don't know. I'm not judging. I just think it was interesting that they had themselves like sitting up, uh, at the requested, and the request was fulfilled. Uh, that they'd be sitting up, uh, for before they put the body in, like, which is weird. Mm. So imagine being around the grave, like when the hole was dug and the person just sitting there enjoying their own funeral i don't know if they were enjoying it I don't know. what happens in that situation then did it how do they put the person into the coffin there's like there's just like <laughs> someone <laughs> sitting there and they have to did they just what well, like yeah, it's <laughs> weird isn't it they just like <laughs> grab his legs i don't know <laughs> yeah it's weird i don't know humans are mad but like i don't want to like that's the thing because maybe it's a cultural thing and like there's some stuff that we mm. think is mental and they do like in argentina or you know anywhere in the world I don't know. But like, yeah, it is weird, Mexico. but I suppose at the end of the day, it's like if that's what the person wanted, then that's what they wanted. Like, yeah, you know, exactly. It's kind of. So yeah, I'm gonna have some weird. Like, like, like sitting up against a tree, just to be up on a hill. So like I always thought, like when you die, your eyes still work. So what you see when you die last seen. So like say if I. Was oh, like, I used to think that too. Like, that's like, mad. I'm gone. My body's gone, but my eyes are still there, and I still see time going on wherever that is in a field or a hill. I still see time going on. I used to think that as well. 
That's mad. Yeah, I used. Have to you be. have you any like a song that you'd like to be played? When uh, that whenever that happens, because mine is just a pure meme. Like, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. I'd love it. I'd love if like whenever I I passed like that, I was lowered into the ground to yeah. to the sound of the me channel music. <laughs> to what? Like the doop 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 doop. <laughs> doop. Oh, the fucking do, 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 do. me channel, yeah. Well, me channel, yeah. So when you're creating your me, the music it plays there. I don't know why. It's that just is like, mad. I just like. The, <laughs> I, <don't, that's> <laughs> I think it's just I like that whole. That I like that combination of like you know it's like, obviously like you know everyone knows like obviously funeral isn't like a happy time like it's not you know. Yeah. Like <laughs> obviously like it doesn't need to be said, but it's like <laughs> it's that whole like you know when people have those moments where like um. <laughs> Something awkward happens and they kind of laugh at a funeral or like that kind of thing. <laughs> and that I, I think that actually is a really important part of grief. Like having that yeah. moment where it's like you just have a little bit of normality <laughs> or absurdity for ah. like a second. I absolutely agree. But I just think that that song is too weird for anyone to even laugh. Like it would just be like, what am I experiencing? <laughs> like, it's like a lone screen or something. I don't know. Like it's just... I, I, like, that would trip me out. But like even I could well, even go a step further. Like there's a version of that song on YouTube where like they make the pauses uncomfortably long, so it'd be like dum 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 <laughs> dum dum <laughs> <laughs> And the song ah. goes on like that, so that would be even worse, like Yeah, yeah. But that would be fucking weird. I know I d I'd feel like we we have uh, definitely in Ireland we have some mad obsession with like death and funerals. I don't know what's that about mm. like I suppose I get it like we love each other and then we miss each other and stuff. But I just think like, I'm, so I'm not talking about that. Like I think like drinking or whatever, stuff. Like, all those things are cool. But there's all these like little weird things that I feel like happen. Uh, like people, ju- Irish people judge a lot of other countries, how they bury people and stuff. Yeah. But when you really break down Ireland, I think it's probably one of the weirder ones. No, it definitely is. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It's like there isn't like everyone around the world. So in Mexico, people say, People make it out that they love when people die in Mexico because mm. they, it's, it's a party and they celebrate their life, which people make it out that that means... And yeah, they have the Festival of Dead, and, but that makes it sound like people then will make it out that they're all... That they just love when a person dies. It, it'll be a grand old time mm. when someone dies. I can't wait, but it's not like that at all. Like, they love the person. They miss them. So they're still crying, but they also learn to, like, dance and stuff like that. Yeah. Actually, really strange thing. It was really interesting, like, um, just because you're talking about different cultures. Of, it's like... Uh, mm camera where it was but it was somewhere somewhere in like in a somewhere in asia now i think it was around kind of it might have been southeast asia or it might have been india i can't remember exactly but somewhere where there's arranged marriage i know and basically if someone um has like like loses a child or like a miscarriage or something uh basically they'll have the arranged marriage between two of those kind of people who were who didn't make it into the world like miscarriage yeah. and stuff so in the same way like because oh, you know like it would have been arranged but it's like it ends up being this weird kind of happy kind of moment of like so they'll have like two chairs there and like it'd mm. be years later they'll have like two chairs there to represent those two people as if they were getting married and they still celebrate as if the marriage was oh, happening. Oh wow! Because because in their culture they know who's getting married before they're kind of born. Yeah, like I just I yeah. saw a thread on on Twitter of someone talking about it and it was like it was really interesting. Like it was That's like trippy. it's something that would seem so bizarre and trippy to people, but like they, they were just explaining it in a really cool way and saying like, look, the, yeah, there is actually it's a joyous occasion and stuff like, and it's great mm. for the family to have that like and well i wonder what it's like for the person who's sitting across the empty chair like do they feel connected to that person they never met i wonder like i want do you know what i mean do they are they just like this is awkward or are they i don't know it'd probably be a different mm. person by person like oh no it'd be, like it would be two empty chairs oh because there's two miscarriages yeah it'd be like oh. the, they, they'd, they'd arrange it between two oh. families that have had the same situation happen oh that's actually that's kind of nice yeah it is actually really be- like because it's, it's a, a really part of culture thing, like. they have to express somehow and that was just a really nice yeah. way to express that in a bad situation like that's mm. really cool so it, hel- it helps both families co- kind of come together and like they still get to have that kind of uh, joyous occasion like. that's mad what do you think of cream eggs hate them <laughs> really yeah <laughs> would you say that in, pu- in a public forum like oh yeah public, you no. put that out there like to the folks like, yeah but like, I, like i hate them like just I, <laughs> like what? would you do you hate people that eat them no like, but like do you hate them enough where you could kind of it could be a reason to dislike someone like no but like 
Like if someone, if I just <laughs> eat a lot of cream eggs, right? No, now. no, no. I just, I don't want to eat them myself. Like. Okay, all right. No, peas on the other hand, if you were eating peas in front of me, I'd want to leave. What? What are you saying? Peas? Yeah. What are you talking about? Like the, the vegetable? Yeah. And wait, what do you think I said? No, I'm, I'm saying like cream eggs, I don't like to eat. Okay, but, but you, you, you did hear cream eggs. Well, that's mad. So cream eggs and peas. No, but I'm just saying like you cause you were saying if, if you were eating it, would it, would it bother me? And I was like, one of the only foods that would bother me if you were eating them right now it's would be peas. peas. Why? I, the smell of them, I There's can't. There's a smell of peas. <laughs> there is a smell of peas. <laughs> what the fuck? The of peas. Really strong. Garden peas, little yeah. green ball. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I literally just said them last no, night. No, like Could you smell them when you come in? Because I met him last night. No, okay, but... I, I, I did... I if, you I had, like the if, you, if you had the pot that you cooked the pe- peas in or whatever there... It's actually... I can literally pull it out for you now. It's not no. washed yet. No, okay. You, no. <laughs> okay sorry, like, sorry, if you sorry. got me to wash that pot, no, I, I would, ga- I, I would, be, I would be gagging. Like I would not be able. That is mad. I, I literally feel like they smell like nothing. Like, when I... You don't... So, uh, four in the room. Adam thinks they smell. Owen thinks they don't. This is mad. It's time for a civil war. <laughs> like, I, just, I can't. Like, I, I got a taco chip there lately from somewhere. Uh, I won't say where it is, but like, they had peas in their taco chip. And is it, it a local place? Yeah, yeah I, I was devastated. Like, I was just Jesus Christ. It like ruined my day. Like, it wasn't. Yeah, no, never mind. Um, <laughs> that's mad though. Like, fucking. That's that's a really interesting. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, just everything about them. They're just awful. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, my God. On. It's like, how dare asking you? Asking someone like? who survived the Titanic to like boats. Like, this horrible thing to ask him. <laughs> I didn't like nearly die from these. <laughs> <Tell me, laughs> it's like, not caused by a traumatic <laughs> experience. Like. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> going to lie. It sounds like that's mad, though, because peas to me are like, I feel like they're literally the most harmless. The cr- critters. They were the o- the first, fit, the only vegetable I ate for years because I, because me and you, we we share a we share the same realms of pickiness or yeah. you know finding a hard. Maybe that's not the right word for you. For me, it's picky, but it's like the realms of of food um issues or yeah. problems or whatever. Uh, we both like the same things. So for me, like as yourself, who don't really not too into vegetables, it wasn't in the past. I, over time, I got better, but peas were the first thing I ate when I was about 11 or 12 and I was like I can deal with this a bit of green mm. so I'm surprised that you did it there Cause yeah because like for me like the one that surprised me was broccoli like I really love broccoli yeah that when you told me that I thought that was crazy like because we were um, very similar and I thought that was that, that you love broccoli that's weird because that's the one even people who love vegetables are kind of like uh, oh uh, no broccoli is the best vegetable like. that's my <laughs> that's so crazy Um, we'll finish up on one more important thing um really important actually uh apparently i found out that stevie and adam owen do you owen have you ever thought about uh have you ever looked at a fridge and said (laughs) i want to get into it yeah fuck off how is there four people in it all three of you have said i want to get into a fridge yeah Yeah. why like (laughs) because <laughs> it's a door <laughs> so you just, when, you, when you see a door you think I want to go in so you can't even walk up town without walking past every fucking door and saying I want to get into that thing I want to get in there I want to get in there it's because it's a door the doors make you want to enter that's my so you can't walk past the door without wanting to enter it that's mad no you can't and and why do you want to get into fridges where did that come from I mean he makes a good argument about the door. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of get it now. Like, yeah, that I do. I the door thing was a good one. That's mad. You want to get into it. One thing that'd be funny if there you has to be some doors you don't want to get into. What about the one with the tiger behind it? Do you know about that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't get into one that. thing I would definitely do if I was sitting in a fridge, like if I was inside in a fridge, is I would push the little thing that turns the light on. <laughs> So that pe- so that people would be like the fr- the fridge would be closed, but they see a glow and be like, "Why the fuck is the light out of my fridge?" And they just open it, and all their food is gone. It's just me, be like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's funny. Um, will you have it? You ha- will you have a strawberry before we finish up now in the last? No. Okay. Right. We'll see. See you next week. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching. If you watch this far, um, that's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant, and if you can subscribe, that would even be greater. Adam, uh, Adam, Adam needs you to subscribe because 
if you don't, he will. It will. He has the black plague. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, te- hundred subscribers will cure that. Is that what the doctor said? 20. Yeah, twenty. Wait, is it called oh, the black plague or the black death? I don't know. <laughs> you got something black in you, like some sort of plague or some some yeah, deadly. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. See you next week. Save, save Adam. Subscribe. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>